Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunn again. This is Handmade in Vermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge interior wall sconce called the Current. This is a beautiful fixture. There's also a Current Pendant. You should check that out. That's going to be in our dining room, <coughs> dining pendant section. What we're talking about today is going to be the 207650 and let's get into details. So this is 6.7 inches tall and that's going to be from the bottom of the fixture to the very top of the fixture including the shade. 16 inches wide, which is really the shade left to right. Projection from the wall out is going to be 4 inches, which makes this ADA compliant. And those of you who are doing ADA compliant projects like architects, interior designers, and ADA is Americans with Disabilities Act that says that a sconce can only come out from the wall up to 4 inches. So it's going to be a good uh, piece for you guys to use. Also, if you're a homeowner and you just want something that's kind of flush to the wall, like in a hallway, so you can get by it really easily, or maybe going down the stairs, this is going to be a good fixture. It'll put light down, it'll put a lot of light up too, which is awesome. The top of that shade is open. So back plate on this is 7.3 inches wide by 5.1 inches tall. And the mounting height from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box is coming in at 3.5 great way for you to see a lot of details on this is to look at the installation sheets the same ones that are, that are going to be in the box for this when you get it let's look at those now if you're on the page for this on handmade in vermont look over on the right hand side of your screen under those pull down menus and kind of scroll down a little bit there's going to be a link over there it's going to say click here for installations instructions pdf open that up for me those like i said are the install sheets what you're going to notice it's going to show you how the lamping is set up inside how the sconce goes on, a full parts list, but the best thing about it, it's going to show you the back plate and how it goes onto your junction box. Lots of good details in there to look at. Okay, so let's talk about lamping on this. It's going to be using two, two candelabra sockets. These are the smaller ones, and because of the shade and how tight the shade is, it's going to be limiting you to using LEDs on this because they don't generate much heat. And the recommended is going to be a seven, two 7 watt LEDs, which is about a 40, 40 watt equivalent in each one of these. However, if you want to, you can go up a little bit as far as the wattage goes in these LEDs because they don't really generate much heat. And you can find these in 60, 75 watt equivalent. If you really try, you can find them in 100 watt equivalent. As long as they are this size bulb, which is going to be this kind of torpedo shape, then you're good to go because it's really about the bulb fitting in there. And like I said, they don't generate much heat at all. So that's where you're going to be with these. And then, you know, with LEDs, you can choose your color temperature. So if you like that warmer light, like this light, this is about 3000 Kelvin coming out of the bulbs above me. If you like the brighter outdoor light that's coming from your windows outside, that's that wider light. That's like 4000, 5000, 6000. This is also a dimmable fixture. So you can put it on a dimmer, including just with LEDs, make sure that you buy LEDs that are dimmable, that's all. Okay, let's hop into uh, shade materials. So you'll see there's a pull down menu over there on the right hand side of your screen that you can choose fabrics for your shade. We have a lampshade uh, materials help guide on the website. It's over on the left hand side of your screen, so spend some time in there, get acquainted with stuff. Another thing you can do is back over on the right hand side, you'll see a place where you can request shade samples. <coughs> these are these little swatches and you'll see a whole big list of things. Just make sure that you only request what's available on the pull down menu because that whole request form has basically everything. Um, and then we'll shoot these out in the mail for you free, doesn't cost you a penny, goes out the same day. It's really worth doing and uh, take advantage of that too, okay? Uh, let's talk about metal finish on this. You're going to see a metal finishes help guide back in the red tabs again. Lots of guides over there, so check that out and open that up for me. Top of that page is going to be a video of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes, how they can look on different types of forging, including this fixture, which actually has different types of forging in the metal part down below. So watch the video, scroll down a little bit, and there's a chart on the on kind of midway down on that finishes help guide page that is going to have a lot of information on it. I'm going to be talking about in the video. So spend some time with both of those things. When you're done with all that, circle back to that chart, and you can click on any of the, um, those things like dark smoke, burnished steel, bigger window is going to pop up and it's going to show you lots of samples of fixtures in whatever finish you just clicked on. So do that if you can do that too. Okay. So we kind of covered the really important things. We covered uh, lamping, really important. <clears throat> we covered size, we covered uh, materials for lampshades, we covered finishes. I think that's really about it. We have this on display in our showroom. Our showroom is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have a what's on display in our showroom page. Again, back over in the left-hand side of your screen, checking those tabs. What's on display? 
So we have over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We, um, we also have a clearance center. So clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's an amazing bargain. You have to come here to use it. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. And um, bring a couple things. So bring a big car or an SUV because the boxes are big. Bring lots of measurements. Measure everything you can think of. Measure your ceiling heights. Measure your counter heights and your counter lengths. And take pictures with an iPad so you can show those to me when you get here. It's a really good thing to do. Okay, so when you order your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we are the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. Some larger items are non-returnable. That's generally big things on pallets and custom things. We'll always talk about that ahead of time so there's no surprises down the road. And we offer a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half. It's very inexpensive. The upcharge is per line item. So if you had a couple of these uh, current sconces that were identical, it's dirt cheap to get them out the door really fast. Best way to do that and find out about it, just drop me a quick email at sales at handmadeinvermont.com or you can call 802-446-2400, and I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. So I think that covers basically everything. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and thanks for stopping in. Take care. Bye-bye.